ホラーな目に合わせてやる。Unlike all other shows, There This doesn't use heavy plot aesthetics and grippable premise to tell the story, but instead the speciality lies in the small scale horror stories it tries to narrate. These horror stories are told by a mysterious man in a yellow mask who visits the children's playground every week at 5 pm. He tells rather suspenseful and mysterious horror stories to these children, and as the audience, we get to hear them as well. The series follows traditional Kamishabe storytelling, and the animation may seem rather odd, but once you get used to it, the show can make you look twice at your own shadow in fear. So, with that. <laughs> This anime is based on a popular horror survival game, and it manages to give the same feeling of the original horror game. This happens after a school cultural festival, where students are trapped in an alternate reality high school now haunted by ghosts. Our protagonist is Satoshi, and the story follows him trying to survive in this ghost school, along with his friends Naomi, Yoshiki, and Ayumi. Corpse Party is a show that completely focuses on the horror of high school and contains some twists that can scare a mature audience. Even though the setting might be a little cliche, the writers know how to weave in the mystery and give in some horror. Next up, we're moving back into the spirits and ghosts. This time our story happens on the island of Kaiyushu, where the spirit realm collides with our normal realms giving birth to a peculiar supernatural and paranormal occurrences. The anime follows three high schoolers named Taro, Makoto and Masuyuki, who had traumatic experiences in their childhood and are now trying to find a connection between these incidents and the strange occurrences of the spirit realm. You can call this similar to the American series X-Files since it generates a horror from the supernatural mysteries that happen in the world. It also deals with the spiritual aspect of the spirits and ghosts rather than many other anime on this <laughs> Written by the same author of the popular Fate series, The Garden of Sinners is an anime that passed under everyone's radar. It is about Shiki Ryugu from the Ryugu clan. The Ryugu clan is popular for hunting demons and other supernatural creatures, and Shiki is the next heiress of this family heirloom. Based on the synopsis itself, it must be obvious for you that the show handles horror themes. Similar to Gothic, the premise of the show involves large amounts of horror. For example, the first movie of this seven movie series revolves around a girl trying to commit suicide, and the second is about a lurking serial killer. The horror aspect does get decreased to a certain level in the later movies, but the first few are enough to give anyone the chill. Now, this one is a rather old classic, but don't let the animation hinder your experience with the story. Ghost Hunt, if not obvious by the name itself, is about hunting ghosts and supernatural creatures. It follows first year high school student Mei Taniyama as she gets involved with Shibuya Psychic Research on investigating supernatural creatures and phenomenons. One of the reasons why Ghost Hunt is so popular, despite being a classic, is the way it handles a horror. Even though many other anime label ghosts and spirits as supernatural creatures and label them as something horrifying, Ghost Hunter actually struggles to show that these creatures are nothing to be scared of if you know the mystery behind them. If you're a fan of this is based on a rather popular light novel series in Japan. In 1972, a girl named Misaki dies, but the teacher and students act as if she was still alive. This leads to some mysterious events at the graduation. Skipping back several years, we are now at spring 1999, where a boy called Koichi gets transferred to the same class. Shortly after the students and their relatives begin dying in strange accidents in very gruesome ways, Koichi gets together with a girl named Mei in finding out the truth about these murders and reveals some dangerous secrets that are being buried in the past. Another is similar to Gothic, but with lots of horror among its mystery, if you want something heavy on the horror aspects and a lot of no, we're not speaking of the character from Garden of Sinners, but a ghost that can haunt others. It can be called another with an extra level of tension and horror. It happens in a rather rural Japanese village called Satoba, where vampiric creatures plague the village bringing unfortunate and brutal deaths to its inhabitants. We follow the story of Natsuno Yuki, who soon gets dragged into these mysteries and is haunted by these vampires. Unlike many other anime, everything about Shiki is related to the horror aspect of the story. The story starts when a girl is suddenly killed after visiting a certain mansion, and the show gradually expands the horror and mystery factor of the show with each episode. If you need the conjuring of anime...